Anime diff is great, but generation times are long. With LCM, we can create animations 10 times faster, but details are lost. But with the second pass of your video in the case sampler, you can still have great level of detail, and still generate the animation 3 times faster. Stay tuned and learn how you can speed up creating your animations. To use LCM, first you need to download the LCM LoRa model from Hugging Face. Link is in the description. Follow the instructions of the page to upgrade the diffusers and PEFT libraries to make the model run. In Files and Versions, you can find the SafeTensors file with the model. Click to download it. If you are going to use Stable Diffusion XL, you need to get a different LoRa model from a different page. I also write the link in the description below. You need to copy this file in your LoRa's folder. In your Comfy UI installation, go to the Models folder. Then open the LoRa's folder and copy the file there. Rename your file as LCM LoRa SD 1.5 or similar, so you can easily identify it later. For this video, I am using the Animate Diff workflow from my previous video. You can download the input files and the workflow from the Civit AI page in the description. Check out the video tutorial for details on how to install the custom nodes and models. If you have everything installed, download the background LoRa anime diff template from the Civit AI page. Drag and drop the template over the Comfy UI canvas. Now, we are going to do some changes in the starting template. First, inactivate the saving nodes and the upscaling nodes. You do not need them now, and you can activate them later. Copy your case sampler. To keep the connections, paste it with the command Control shift v Do the same for the VED code and the video combine nodes. Connect the latent output of your new case sampler to the VED code. Add a LoRa loader node in front of the new case sampler. In this loader, we select the LCM LoRa model we just have downloaded and copied into Comfy UI. As input from the LCM LoRa, we use the Animate Diff Instant LoRa model output used for the case sampler of the template. We also need to connect the clip. Before connecting the LoRa model to the case sampler, we need to include the model sampling discrete node. Use LCM as a sampling method. Connect the model output to the case sampler. LCM runs with less steps and lower CFG than other samplers, so some settings need to be changed in the case sampler. Change the steps to 8 and the CFG scale to 1.5. Use LCM as a sampler and change the scheduler to exponential. Rendering will be very fast, but for testing we will first use the first 12 frames. For this example, I will use another character. I will keep the snowy town background, as it has quite details and will be nice to see for the comparisons later in the video. The original case sampler has 30 steps and a CFG scale of 10. I will also run this sampler, so we can compare the results of the original animation without LCM LoRa, and the one with this new model. As you can see on the left, the LCM LoRa has been able to generate a good first 12 frames animation. However, we can see that the level of detail is not as good as in the original template. The number of steps in the case sampler of the LCM LoRa is important. However, you can see that around 6 steps, any increase is not leading to a more detail in the animation. The recommended CFG level should be between 1 and 2 for optimal results. Too low will create blurred images, while above 2 we will have CFG burn. Changing the sampler parameters is not enough to increase the level of detail. You need to do an upscale or to use a second pass of the case sampler to achieve it. Copy the case sampler and connect the latent output of the LCM sampler to the second pass sampler. Use also the model sampling discrete node here, but change the sampling for EPS. Because our LCM base animation has already been rendered, we only add 8 steps to the second pass case sampler. This way, the overall animation only takes 16 steps. This is almost half of the 30 steps of the original animation. The CFG level is 10. The sampler is DPM PPSD and the scheduler Keras. We decrease the denoise to 0.7. There are some differences between the new animation and the original one. 
but it is difficult to say which one has more and better details. If you are happy with the new workflow, you can now make stunning animate diff animations two or three times faster. Obviously, you can later use the face detail and interpolation for even better results. Optimization of the second case sampler is possible. Few steps may not yield the results you want, but increasing them will also not improve the quality a lot. Same happens with the denoise. With a small denoise, the image will be very similar to the LCM animation. With a value close to 1, the AI may create some hallucinations. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my other tutorials of Stable Diffusion. And see you soon.